Hello everyone, I've got an interesting video for you today. We're going to be looking at the Cataphract GL3 grenade launcher available from Trials. This grenade launcher is special because it has the perk Bait and Switch, which is currently the best DPS perk in the game for the majority of situations. But this grenade launcher doesn't just have Bait and Switch, it has the insane combo of Envious Assassin and Bait and Switch. And with this combo, we are able to load this grenade launcher's entire reserve into the magazine, and that is including having reserve mods on our chest plate. What this means is that this is a tool for absolutely dumping damage out. The grenade launcher can shoot all 19 of its grenades out in just 9 seconds, making it very easy and consistent to hit every single shot with bait and switch applied, whereas when you're using something like a rocket launcher, it typically takes more than 9 seconds to shoot all of your reserves, meaning that you have to reproc bait and switch towards the end. But if you have a lot of buffs going on, you don't actually get to see the timer, and then you have to run a counter in your head, and it just gets much more difficult for a lot of players. Now that said, for anybody looking to do advanced DPS, or things like low man DPS, or speedrun DPS, this is definitely not going to be the video for you. This video is going to be for people who just want to see either a new option for DPS, or want to have very consistent DPS that is easy to pull off and still strong. An additional note I'd like to say is that this thing actually beats a lot of rocket launcher cycles whenever they don't have Galahorn, making it very powerful for doing solo content. And with that, let's get into the numbers. So the first thing we want to look at is how much damage this grenade launcher does per shot. After that, we can determine how long it takes for us to shoot all of our shots. And with that, we can determine the weapon's DPS. We're going to do this with the Cataphract, and we're also going to do it with the very similar Cold Comfort, which has Envious Assassin and Bait and Switch. Because of the nature of Apex Predator being more made for rotations than absolutely dumping rockets, I don't want to compare them because they essentially have two different jobs. Alright, so as we can see here, I have the Cold Comfort here ready with the four in the magazine and Restoration Ritual ready to go, meaning that it will be able to shoot five shots in a row. So we're going to drop down our Rift with Luna Factions and fire it off and see how long it takes. Looking at the numbers we've gotten, we can determine the amount of damage per shot after we apply buffs and the amount of DPS we have using some simple math. The buffs that we're going to be using to determine the damage per shot include Well of Radiance, Tractor Cannon for debuff, the boss spec mod, bait and switch on the weapon of course, and also having three surge mods equipped to our boots. After we determine the damage per shot, we're going to multiply it by the total reserves, which in Cold Comfort's case is 10, and then we will divide that number by the time it took to shoot off all of the rockets. While most of the buffs and debuffs are a very well-known number, such as Tractor Cannon being 1.3, Galahorn is a little bit more up in the air, but according to Aegis, Galahorn gives approximately a 1.27% buff to rockets, so that is the multiplier that I'm going to be using for Galahorn in this test. So if we have a look, a base damage rocket is going to do 91,871,000, 000, and once we apply all of our buffs, we're going to be able to do 253,000. With Galley, that would go up to 321,000 total. And this is going to give us a DPS of 146,000 for our DPS without Galley, and 185,000 with Galley. All right, and you can see that we are now back here with the Cataphract loaded up with all 19 into the magazine using Envious Assassin. So let's go ahead and time how long it takes to shoot these out now. Here we are to look at the numbers of the Cataphract GL, and I have to say I am very impressed. So looking at the base damage of a grenade, we can see that we have about 33,066 damage. And when we add on all of our buffs, that number goes up to 95,399. If you remember, we have 19 shots in the reserve, so we multiply our damage per shot by that, and then divide it by the time it took for us to deal the damage, and we have our DPS coming out to 201,399. So this weapon actually has a decent bit less total damage than the Cold Comfort, and you can very easily get that by just multiplying the 
damage per shot by the reserves of the weapon. However, this weapon has actually a lot more DPS. Let's keep in mind, this is doing more damage than Cold Comfort with Gallowhorn. What this means is that rockets actually do not compete with this weapon unless you're using some reload tech like the grapples with Threat of Ascent or Rain of Fire for Warlock, for example. Rockets will likely continue to be better because using reload tech, you can do more DPS than this grenade launcher, and they also have more total damage, but it's definitely interesting to see a grenade launcher putting up such powerful results. That was a lot of information, but what does it mean? What should you actually be using? This grenade launcher is definitely exceeding my expectations, and it is currently the strongest grenade launcher that we have access to right now. With that, it is also competing with a lot of different rocket launcher setups. I think that rockets are going to continue to be the meta until they receive a nerf if they do because of their higher total damage and their ability to get higher DPS if you have reload augmenting things. That being said, I still think this grenade launcher has a great place in the meta as a weapon that requires absolutely zero help from things like exotic armor and still puts up some seriously powerful numbers. In addition to this, I also think that it is going to be a great option for solo play because without Gallahorn, it gets an even bigger advantage over rockets. If you do plan to use this weapon, I highly recommend getting some powerful special weapons since it only takes about 10 seconds to fully use up this entire weapon's reserves, so you're going to be left with nothing if you don't have some powerful special weapons to back it up. If you wanted a more lazy strategy, I'd recommend using the Cataphract, dumping all the ammo, and then just shooting her with a Nox Perennial. This has even better synergy because the Nox Perennial also has Envious Assassin, meaning that you can use your energy slot weapon to fill up both weapons magazines at the same time. I'd like to go over some important tech involving the Envious Assassin perk because it is currently technically bugged. The perk is only meant to give you a 150% increase to the mag size. This would give us an expected 15 grenades in the launcher, but as you can see, I was able to get 19. After the buff to Envious Assassin this season, it is able to get up to a 250% increase in the magazine size. The way that you do this is you load in a couple of shots and then pull the weapon out. You need to have a number which is below the intended maximum of 150%, which would be about 13 shots for the Cataphract. After you do that, you need to put it away and continue to get kills. You need to just rack up as many kills as you can after, and you'll be able to have up to 250% instead of just the intended 150%. The math on doing this is even easier with the Cold Comfort, where you only need to kill one enemy to get two rockets in the tube and then you just go ham and you will put two more into it, leaving four in the tube and a fifth shot using the Restoration Ritual Origin trait on the weapon. The last thing I want to go over is some of the finer details in my damage math and my testing setup here. Those of you with keen eyes may have noticed that the rift ran out while I was testing the Cold Comfort. While that wasn't originally intended and I was going to redo it using the Well of Radiance, I realized something and that is that because the amount of time it takes to shoot all the rockets is over 10 seconds, you would need to reproc bait and switch anyway, which takes approximately the extra second that that added to the time to shoot all the rockets. So I didn't change it. But if you think that that's going to impact the results, I'd be happy to retest it and put the numbers in the comments section. Just leave me a comment and let me know if you'd like to see that. If you end up comparing my numbers to Aegis's in his spreadsheet, which will be linked in the description, you're going to see that my numbers are a little bit different. Both of these setups I have here are not actually on his spreadsheet right now because I did them slightly differently. The Cold Comfort setup that we did with manual reloads is completely not on the spreadsheet at all, and the Cataphract setup we did had all 19 in the tube, whereas his setup had 15 in the tube and then 4 as a follow-up. In addition to this, all of Aegis' testing on his spreadsheet is using Lumina instead of Well of Radiance, which is a 10% higher buff. So anything that is the same test that I did would have higher numbers on his spreadsheet than mine. And if you have anything you want to point out, as always, just leave a comment and I will address it. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.